All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Jupiter Hell, if I can get it to... Okay, that's strange. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, because we're on display capture, so you might see a little bit of UI, but that's fine. Because, yeah, those sound effects are loud. Okay, anyway, so what is Jupiter, Jupiter Hell? Jupiter Hell is Doom RL, pretty much. It looks like Doom the Roguelike. Yeah, it it's actually very heavily based off of Doom RL. I don't... I never played it personally, so I'm I'm gonna it's gonna take some getting used to on my end. Is there anything I wanna mess around with? Huh. Discord rich presence. That's kinda of fun. We'll see how that goes. Anyway, uh high score player get data. Nope. Is this your first time playing Jupiter Hell? We'll guide you through a short tutorial. This will take only a couple of minutes and introduce the uh, the turn based, grid based nature of the game, controls and a primer of the basic strategy. Cool. This will be fun. Welcome to Jupiter Hell. This is a turn-based, grid-based, primitive dungeon-crawling game, a classic roguelike. The focus in this game, however, is on the on range combat. We'll walk you through an introductory level, and then you can jump right in. Be aware that this is a keyboard or gamepad-only game, so put away the mouse. Oh, boy. Uh, give me a second. I'm going to grab a controller, because holy crap, keyboard controls are awkward. I grew up with them. Like... I played a whole bunch of games on keyboard back in the day. I beat all of Mega Man X 1 through 4 on a keyboard. I like how the seed is 666, of course. Okay, follow the highlighted squares using the arrow keys of D-pad. You can only move in the four cardinal directions. If you press the directions fast enough, it may seem like the character is moving diagonally. But in reality, that's two moves. Blend it to speed up play. Note the minimap and level name in the top left corner. Your character stats are in the bottom left. Then Taggart, Marine, uh, probably level 1, 200 TNL, don't know what that is. Oh, 200 EXP, till next level. HP, current health, dodge, status effects, pain, dodge, buffs. Cool. Enemy spotted. His stats appear in the top right. Take special note of the chance you have to hit him. However, Jupiter Hell is a game of tactical positioning. Move right so you can lean from around the corner. Follow the highlighted squares using the... Okay, ow. Now you're behind cover. Note that there's a green indicator. Ow, that hurt. Uh, to the right of your character, signifying that fact. Green is your cover. Red is enemy cover. Both appear only if an enemy is targeted. Now you can shoot him. F or X on the pad. To shoot the currently selected enemy. If you can see him, you can shoot him. Press F or X to fire. Okay, chance to hit 92%. Or, yeah, 92%. So he's a former grunt, and I'll do 14 damage. You fire your current weapon at the currently selected target. C, reticle, on the enemy, fire again. Use two bullets. You better reload. Press Y on the pad. Okay, drop some stuff. A pistol, you already have one, and some ammo. Move to pick it up. Okay, now let's move towards that door with the icon above it. So you interact with stuff by bumping into it. Medical supply box, you can bump into it as well. Med kits, go pick up one. Good. Items such as medkits are not used instantly, but stored in inventory. Use it now. So, start That's small good. medkit. Let's go to the next room. This guy has a shotgun. Fire at him so we can get his gun. Remember, the direction that you and them are facing doesn't matter. <sighs> Ow. Wow, that shot really hurt. If you look at your status bar at the bottom, you can see you have a significant pain mo uh, modifier. Directly affects your chance to hit. Oof. Luckily, you're a marine, and you have an active skill that can help. Adrenaline can be used once per level, and it converts the pain value to health. Press 5 is indicated near the skill to activate, activate it. On the gamepad, hold right trigger, and press D-pad left. Much better. Now you can finish him off. Fire! Go and pick up his shotgun. There are enemies here. The shotgun will help pick it up. Groovy. Damn it, it's empty. You need to pick up the shells. Now reload, reload the gun. And fire. Now that was satisfying. Shotguns deal area damage, so you can get multiple kills with a single shot. Don't forget to reload after each shot, though. The shotgun is nice, but let's switch to the pistol again. You can carry up to three weapons, as seen in the bar on the bottom right. Press 1 to switch back to the pistol. In the gamepad, right trigger, press X. Okay, now let's go to the next room. But ammo! 
Move in, take a better look. Now here's an idea. Why not blow up those explosive barrels? To do so, you need manual targeting. Ah, uh, let's see. Right stick on the D-pad. Okay. And then blast them. Boom! Barrels do more damage than a pistol shot. So it's worth using your environment. Okay, go into the room, and you're on your own. Find the elevator to finish the tutorial. So I've already got the shotgun, but we might as well grab ammo. Anything else? Look like it. Let's see, if we go back to the shotgun... Okay, we're full on ammo. Where is the ex- Oh, there's the door. No, okay, so these are former grunts. Floor is empty. I pass a turn. There we go. See you in hell, fuckers. Wow. Okay. I guess it is doom. I should I should expect that. And there we go. Congratulations on finishing the tutorial. Now you can start a new game and see how you fare in real combat. Just remember, game is turn-based, no need to rush. Facing doesn't matter, neither you nor the enemies. Uh, for neither you nor enemies. Movement's only in four directions. Diagonal movement is only a side effect of the animation system. And it's two moves consecutively. Try and keep behind cover. Note the enemy cover. Okay, new game. Regu regular tutorial challenge mode. Regular, and we'll do it on easy because I'm, a, I'm lame bones. Uh, let's see, so Marine, passive, hardier than your brethren, heal faster to you. Each time you enter a new level, you automatically heal 10% of your max health. And you can also convert pain to health. Scout, reveal the location of all the regular elevators. Branch connections and special levels are still hidden. You only have two weapon slots. And you can go invisible for a bit. Or technician. Uh, they, okay. Due to their proficiency with technology, they use any consumable twice as fast. Also, they can apply a single mod to advanced weapons. Once per level, you can activate a smoke screen. Nope, let's go Marine. And what is it going to be our name? What is our name, chat? Help me. Well, everybody has about the, uh... Everybody has about the same naming the sense as I do, here. which is just dude. Anyway, well, that's some, that's some doom music. Wow, that is just straight up just all doom. I don't see anything. Okay. Don't see any... Okay, so we've got a guy... He's got a shotgun. My chance to hit is pretty bad. Okay, there's another dune hanging out all the way out there. Security drone. I'm just gonna pick things off with the pistol from afar. Groovy. Let's see, reload the shotgun, switch back to the pistol. Pistol's got way more range, so what is that? Looks like it's all ammo. I am fine with such things. Anything else around here? Yeah, security drone. Should be able to ping that. Okay. So frustratingly, uh, let's see. So we want to go manually, manual aim mode. Well, I was gonna shoot those uh, explosive barrels, but I guess I ended up just. Uh, Need to reload. I ended up just plinking him down instead. Oh, I can pick a trait. Okay, you're great at what you are. Each level of the skill improves your class traits. Each level of the skill, you heal an additional five percent each level, fifty percent more HP from adrenaline. Oh, I like this. I like this a lot. So, increases HP... Uh, wait. Increases HP hit points by 20% starting HP per level. 
Uh, so you're a diehard piece of shit. You'll keep on fighting until all your bones are broken and you have no blood left. Every level of this trait increases your health by 20% of your starting HP. Uh, let's see. Dodge chance per level. So you get an extra 10% chance to dodge. There's pesky bullets coming your way. Oh, dodge... Bleh. Syncopation of my voice is terrible today. Anyway, dodge reduces two hit of your enemies during move. Half of it reduces the two hit of the next action. Additionally, movement takes 10% less time. Uh, let's see, reduces minimum pain level, really reduces reload time, hit chance by 10%. I like the idea of eagle eye and just like shooting people from freaking far away. Weapon damage by one. Ooh, that might not be a bad idea. And son of gun Lee. Fire time is up. There's also stuff like Wizkid. Maximum amount of mod slots. Uh, let's see. Prevent death. Bonus damage equal to current pain. Once per level, enable free shot every move for a short period of time. Automatically reload your weapon on a kill. Interesting. Let's go Eagle Eye for the time being. Let's see. So that's a revolver. Oh, I see how that works. Okay, so revolvers are... Revolvers are pretty good. Uh, let's see. Why do I have cover this way? Am I even shooting the guy? Okay, I was definitely shooting him after a certain point. Takes some getting used to. But that's that's fine. This is neat. I like the perk system. I Okay, yeah, so 280 till next level. I was worried that those dudes with the uh Those dudes with the shields were actually going to be more of a problem. But so far, not so much though. So. This revolver is doing some work. Okay, so we went back to the pistol. Are we totally... Oh, no, 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 no. My revolver. Okay. I was wondering what happened to it. But anyway, this is... I don't see shit to pick up. This is actually like a really well-made thing. I'm not sure why we're just fighting other marines. I hope we end up fighting other like... Uh, like... Well, I mean, demons and so on and so forth. I don't see anything. It's gonna be disappointing if we don't have, like, a uh, Kakademon or Cyber Devil or something at the end of this. I'm not using the shotgun as much as I thought, but then again, my goal is kind of to shoot enemies from as far freaking away as possible. And skip everything else. Oh, those are fans. Let's see. So the devs of this game, Chaos Forge, did a similar game years ago, Roguelike of Doom. The two are very similar. Including the UI. I didn't actually realize it was the same people that made this as Doom Morel. That's odd. Uh, odd. That's awesome, though. Okay. We might as well pop adrenaline. It doesn't heal me much. But there's not much. Well, I haven't taken too much. Well, I guess I'm at actually 52 HP, so that's not great. Do we have anything else? No. We pop a health kit. Small med kit. Heals 40? Perfect. Alright, let's go down. So is this a super hot tactical roguelike with a Doom soundtrack? Uh, yeah, actually, that's... That's not far off of describing what this game is. Okay, so we want to get at these guys, but we should probably use the shotgun for this. Why is it not letting me sh Need to reload. Okay. Well, the shotgun is kind of rough to work with. Uh, let's probably go back to the revolver. Piss poor hit chance. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep just pumping points into Eagle Eye so I can just pick people off from very far away. But yeah, with the name like Former Grunt, I'm assuming these guys are... ...have been like taken over or something like that. Like the really basic enemies at the beginning of, of Doom 2016. I'll run this hallway for better or worse. Can I... Can I rotate? I can't. That's a bit of an issue. Maybe I can. Maybe it's an option. Okay. Almost ran out of ammo there. That would have been bad. And we found the elevator, but we don't, we don't want to do that. Oh! We also have different places we can go to. Because I should pay attention to that. Okay, so now I'm level 3. Uh, let's see. Son of a gun. Skilled. I mean, Iron Man or Skilled might not be a terrible idea. I keep doing Eagle Eye for the time being. Because if I can more or less just dead eye things anywhere. Whoops. I was really hoping I could get both of them. Well, that's fine. And back to the revolver. Eh, we're kind of running out. We should probably switch back to the 9mm because... Sweet Jesus. I have ammo. Reload, that's... It. That's a creature. That hurt. Okay, so this pistol... Might not have been the greatest idea. Okay. Well, we'll see. Do these just nine millimeters? Yeah. So there are there are weird demons. I think my only immediate criticism with this game is just the fact that it's all just kind of gray. Let's see. It's a fiend. Probably switch back to the shotgun on that one. Bigger they are. Floor's empty. Let's see, so what else have we got here? So is this... Another 12 gauge shotgun. Uh, let's see. Switch back to the shotgun, make sure it's reloaded. And we're good. Like, I really liked Doom 2016's visual style. It was a lot of... I wouldn't say muted colors, but like, it was actually a really, really vibrant game. It had a limited color palette, but what it, what it did do was actually really, really strong. Uh, from like a visual aesthetic style. Okay, so we can go to Callisto level 3. Or we can go to Callisto Mines level 1. What do you guys think? Mines level 1? Let's see. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go to the mines. Let's see. Let's, let's change the pace. Probably should have cleared the rest of that place out. There was probably at least one container I hadn't checked. Okay, so we've got drones. Line of sight might be a bit of an issue for me. I don't see anything. Okay, so a repair kit and a rocket. Fucking ammo. Reload. Okay. I do appreciate the fact that... Ow. This is a cover shooter of a roguelike. Wait, I have nothing to repair. What am I yes, trying to repair? I there we go. Okay, getting caught without cover is actually pretty brutal. Am I shooting? Am I shooting at him? And yeah, my two hits pretty bad. Yeah, you can lure him out a little bit by putting the uh, cover between yourself and them, though. It's kind of nice. Okay. Oh, there's sm small med kit.
Take out the fire demon. Okay. So what is this? It is a 9mm auto rifle. I mean... Switch back to this. Okay. Yeah, let's let's go to the auto rifle. Oh, it uses 9mm. So in that case, we should just... Uh, straight up get rid of the auto pistol in favor of the auto rifle. If it uses the same bullet type, I'm assuming... I'm assuming... Okay, so that is the one trade-off. But we've got plenty of ammo for it, so it's probably okay. Hello. 9 mil calibrated. It's probably better. I don't actually know if it's any better. Well, at least we're starting to find some fun guns. So we got a SMG. Uh, let's get rid of the revolver at this point. It was nice, but keeping up with ammo for it was a little rougher. Okay, so this should be where I came in, yeah? We... Be able to just snipe our way through this. I don't see anything else here. There we go. I've leveled up again. So we could get Spray and Pray. Shoot all enemies in a cone. Accuracy minus 25%. Might not be a bad idea. Let's probably get uh, Skilled Lee, maybe? Maybe... Let's go Son of a Bitch. We could probably use some just bonus damage here. Hello. What is better? An advanced 9mm or JAC? Can I check? Okay, so this... This uses 9mm. The other one uses... 44. I'm not sure which I like better. I'm probably going to stick with the, the pistol at least for a little while. Let's see. Isn't that level 1 and 4 font choice? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, was this just a bonus map? Because I don't actually see an elevator here. Yeah, this is just a bonus map. We can just go back. Oh, this elevator is inactive. Never mind. I lied. Oh, it's probably right here. Yeah, there it is. Callisto Mines level 2. Below, damn it. Okay, so we've got a lot of these goons around. Now, this is the kind of game that probably would have been really rad back in the 90s. I'm liking it. The environments feel a bit I don't know how to describe it. No room in inventory. Oh, we're maxed out. Question. Oh, well yeah, freaking go figure. Let's see, do we wanna Let's see, we'll keep your armor in shape. Okay. What about stim packs? Feels like a small med kit. Okay, I'll hold on to it. I mean, straight up, uh, we might as well switch to the advanced SMG at this point. And now it looks like a mine. <sighs> Ow. Well, do we... Might as well uh, just use the adrenaline. I don't even use it that much. Reload, damn it. Okay, we might want to go back to... We might want to go back to Eagle Eye. Need to get rid of some shit. Because, yeah, I bet if I had, like, pinpoint accuracy with this SMG, it would be hilarious. There we go. 
go. Cause yeah, this need to get rid of some shit. This thing leaves much to be desired in terms of accuracy. So if I just went like full in on on shotgun or not shotgun, full in on eagle eye at this distance, I bet we could do some horrid things to people. Because normally I stay away from SMGs because their their natural accuracy is uh, somewhere here. between cow butthole no and uh, weeping child. I realize that's not the most helpful de descriptor, but like you know what, whatever. It, ow. Would help, fuckers. Went one too far, but that's okay. Haven't didn't take too much damage. And we might want to also boost up my HP at some point and get the healing perk, just so I could like face tank through a lot. Okay. This is probably the most inappropriate game for me to play while waiting for my ve veggie burgers to get out of the oven. Like, this is the kind of game that you should, like, finish off with a steak or something. Not, like, super pansy hippie food. At the same time, my super pansy hippie food is really tasty. So, I don't really know. Ah! Well. That was freaking loud. Well, I hear them. I'm actually really enjoying this. This is, uh, this is definitely the kind of coffee break roguelike that I could get into. It's also the kind of roguelike that you could, like, totally pick up and just, like, play for half an hour and then, like, get distracted and just leave your characters... Like, I could just walk off right now and everything would be... Everything would be golden. Like, turn-based roguelikes are pretty nice about that. Unfortunately, most of them have serious pain, uh, pain. Serious, like, pacing issues. Uh, like, usually when I play old-school roguelikes like Majoral and whatnot, I'm just waiting for my... I'm not gonna say, like, I'm waiting for oh, damn it. shit to happen, but, like, I'm often just sitting there, uh, just, like, slowly mowing through enemies and being like, eh, this is just kind of sluggish. This has a much, like, faster pace to it, just baseline. I'm still, like, I'm still feeling kind of slow comparatively. Fucking reload already. But, like, no room in him. when you actually get into combat and stuff, the game actually feels faster than anything else. Okay, so I can level up. Honestly, what is angry... Uh, let's see. Damage bonus equals to pain level. Nah, let's go Eagle Eye. The reason why I want to go Eagle Eye is... Effectively, every single time I put a point into Eagle Eye, it increases my effective range with this thing. Let's see, you might pick this up. It's giving you Doom Rogue like vibes. As well it should, it's made by the same people. Okay, so we could go to Valhalla Spaceport. Hell yeah! That sounds fun. Got to find a way to Europa. I think my only other disappointment is the fact that I'm not, in fact, wearing Doom armor. Out of ammo, reload. And like, I feel like I should be wearing the armor from the beginning. Just being some dude feels disappointing. Like. I don't know. I, I would like a, a fourth character class here that is just uh, no room. effectively de facto Doom guy, and you get rid of all the voice acting, and it's just grunts. Like, that's it. That's all there needs to be. Okay. What else we got in here? a lot of nothing. Which I guess is kind of nice. It's kind of weird, but it's kind of nice. Need okay. to get rid of some shit. Carry ammo, too much ammo, shit. nothing. Might even want to get rid of the shotgun, honestly. Because I'm not actually sure if the shotgun's helping me. 
Compared to me just like SMG mowing things down. Okay, more med kits. I wonder if this has saving. Like if I can save and quit to menu. Maybe? I don't really know. Because on one hand, I'm actually really enjoying this. On the other hand, I'm pretty much out of time. Ow, that was a shotgun to the face. That's a mecha. Well, that's one way to go down. Oh, I'm not dead yet. Oh, that's the good shit right there. Well, I survived the mecha. I don't think I deserved that. Uh, let's see. That's well, the good shit right there. Let's pop both of those. So the enemies got harder. Admittedly, I could have been behind cover for that, but that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I I like the fact that there are builds. I hope. I hope this is mildly early access so they can add some more things. More classes would definitely help. Uh, some more interesting guns. Hopefully, as you go along, just because, like, wild alt fire actually would be really nice. Like, uh, I mean, straight up, like, a. Reload. I'm always a big fan of, like, the grenade launcher atta attachments or, uh,. Ricochet bullets or something. Maybe some alt, alt character classes. And mainly just those perks. Like, if I had a massive list, list to pull from, I'd actually be very happy. Oh, that's a good point. Ow, oh, I didn't kill him. I gotta pay more attention. Unfortunately, with the uh, kind of murky visuals, it's a little bit tougher for me to... Europa, level one. It's a little bit tougher Europa. for me to pick There's enemies out of the list. Be. Anyway, so we made it to Europa, for better or worse. I'm pretty much doomed, but that's fine. That's kind of the point of all of this. And there's some armor, finally. Need to reload. Okay. I wonder, can I do... Oops. I have nothing to repair. So I picked up some armor. Door's locked. Door's locked. Out of ammo. Below. There we go. If, if you notice, I'm going to play a little bit sloppier here. That is entirely because I've got a burger and fries directly in front of me, and I'm very hungry. And I'm dead. But that's fine. Because that was cool. Uh, let's see. So, level 5 marine. Survived quite a while. Blah, blah, blah. Dude manly. Perfect. Well, this is fun. I actually, I really enjoy this. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're going to add a tremendous amount more soon enough. And yeah, bare bones early access for now. Thank you. I, because this is such a good, like, solid start. I would say uh, my only, like, true criticism, apart from, yeah, obvious lack of immediate content, is I do kind of wish the enemies stood out a little bit more from the environment. Especially once I've mowed down, like, a group of, like, three to four enemies. Uh, it's very frequent where, like, there's, there's, like, one dude left standing in a sea of guns. And I don't immediately, like, visually notice him. Because... He's kind of camouflaged in the clutter, but like that's about it. This is really solid, and like I'm actually kind of disappointed. Uh, I only had enough time for a quick look tonight, but I will definitely come back and play more of this because this is fun. I, as far as like true blue old school, old school shooters go, is good. The soundtrack was great. The guns were really fun. Uh, I love the fact that it has a light perk system. Kind of like, uh, I kind of like Nuclear Throne, it's a little bit more statistical based, but still. Having that and being able to, like, build towards a build is really satisfying. Because normally when I play, uh, old school roguelikes, you usually just level up or, like, maybe there's some kind of interesting perks, but it's, it's usually kind of, like, obvious which way you want to go down. Whereas, like, I really want to do Eagle Eye Sniper with the, uh, with the SMG. Because that makes no freaking sense, but I mean, it was carrying me so far until I got hungry and was like, oh shoot, I gotta end this episode so I can eat. Also because it was a good time to end the episode. 
Uh, but anyway, thank you, Roland, for dropping by as well, uh, seeing as you're on the dev team. You guys made a great game, and yeah, I will definitely play more of this over the next next couple of days, weeks, or whatever. And since this is in early access, uh, that means I get to come back, uh, what, probably a year from now and be like, holy shit, this game has improved greatly since. Uh, but for now, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.